Welcome to today's daily Bible reading for August 10th. We'll begin in Ezra chapter 10, verse 1. <clears throat> now when Ezra had prayed, and when he had confessed, weeping and casting himself down before the house of God, there assembled unto him out of Israel a very great congregation of men and women and children, for the people wept very sore. And Shechaniah the son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, We have trespassed against our God, and have taken strange wives of the people of the land. Yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Now therefore let us make a covenant with our God to put away all the wives, and such as are born of them, according to the counsel of my Lord, and of those that tremble at the commandment of our God, and let it be done according to the law. Arise, for this matter belongeth unto thee. We also will be with thee. Be of good courage, and do it. Then Ezra arose, and made the chief priests, the Levites, and all Israel to swear that they should do according to this word. And they swear. Then Ezra rose up from before the house of God, and went into the chamber of Johanan, the son of Elishashib. And when he came thither, he did eat no bread nor drink water, for he mourned because of the transgression of them that had been carried away. And they made proclamation throughout Judah and Jerusalem unto all the children of the captivity, that they should gather themselves together unto Jerusalem, and that whosoever would not come within three days, according to the counsel of the princes and the elders, all his substance should be forfeited, and himself separated from the congregation of those that had been carried away. Then all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered themselves together unto Jerusalem within three days. It was the ninth month on the twentieth day of the month, and all the people sat in the street of the house of God, trembling because of this matter and for the great rain. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed and have taken strange wives to increase the trespass of Israel. Now therefore make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers, and do his pleasure, and separate yourselves from the people of the land and from the strange wives. Then all the congregation answered and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, so must we do. But the people are many, and it is a time of much rain, and we are not able to stand without, neither is this a work of one day or two, for we are many that have transgressed in this thing. Let now our rulers of all the congregations stand, and let all them which have taken strange wives in our cities come at appointed times, and with them the elders of every city, and the judges thereof, until the fierce wrath of our God for this matter be turned from us. Only jo Jonathan, the son of Asahel, and Jehaziah, the son of Tikva, were employed about this matter. And Meshulam and Shebabethai, the Levite, helped them. And the children of the captivity did so. And Ezra the priest, with certain chief of the fathers, after the house of their fathers, and all of them by their names, were separated, and sat down in the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wives by the first day of the first month. And among the sons of the priests there were found that had taken strange wives, namely, the sons of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and his brethren, Messiah, and Eliezer, and Jerob, and Gedaliah. And they gave their hands that they would put away their wives, and being guilty, they offered a ram of the flock for their trespass. And of the sons of Immer, Hanani, and Zebediah, and of the sons of Haram, Messiah, and Elijah, and Shemaiah, and Jehiel, and Uzziah, and of the sons of Pasher, Eloni, Messiah, Ishmael, Nathaniel, Josabad, Elisah, also of the Levites, Josabad, and Shimei, and Keliah, the same is Kalida. Pethahiah, Judah, and Eliezer. Of the singers also, Elishib, and of the porters, Shalom, and Telem, and Uri. 
Moreover of Israel, of the sons of Perash, Ramiah, and Josiah, and Malchiah, and Miamim, and Eliezer, and Malchijah, and Beniah, and of the sons of Elam, Mataniah, Zechariah, and Jehiel, and Abdi, and Jeremoth, and Eliah, and of the sons of Zatu, Elonai, Elishabib, Mataniah, Jeremoth, and Zabad, and Aziza. Of the sons also of Bebai, Johananan, Hananiah, Zabai, and Alphi. Of the sons of Bani, Meshulam, Malak, Adaiah, Jashub, and Sheel, and Ramoth. And of the sons of Pahath Moab, Adna and Shalal, Beniah, Messiah, Mataniah, Bezaleel, Benu, and Manasseh. And of the sons of Haram, Eliezer, Ishijah, Malchiah, Shemaiah, Shimeon, Benjamin, Malak, and Shemariah. Of the sons of Hashem, Matnei, Mattatha, Zabab, Eliphet, Jeremiah, Manasseh, and Shimei. Of the sons of Bani, Madai, Amram, and Ul, Beniah, Badia, Chelub, Thaniah, Merimoth, Elishib, Mataniah, Matanay, Jasha, and Bani, and Binu, and Shimi, and Shelemiah, and Nathan, and Adaya, Machnadabai, Shashai, Sharai, Azareel, and Shelemiah, and Sheremiah, Shalem, Amariah, and Joseph. Of the sons of Nebo, Jael, Mattathiah, Zabad, Zabina, Jadu, and Joel, Beniah. All these had taken strange wives, and some of them had wives by whom they had children. Now we'll go to 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 1. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more are things that pertain to this life? If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, Set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. I speak to your shame. Is it so that there is not a wise man among you? No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren? But brother goeth to law with brother, and that before unbelievers? Now therefore there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law one with another. Why do ye not rather take wrong? Why do you not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Nay, ye do wrong and defraud, and that your brethren. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, and by the Spirit of our God. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Meats for the belly, and the belly for meats. But God shall destroy both, it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And God hath both raised up the Lord, and will also raise us up by his own power. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ, and make them the members of a harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? 
For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Now we'll go to Psalm chapter 31, verse 9. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. And Proverbs chapter 21 verse 3. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice.